Okay. Uh, first of all, let's, I'm going to do some kind of uh, history. I can spend hours, uh, obviously, after been doing that for more than 12 years. But I'll do, I'll do my summary very quickly. And uh, first, uh, it all this, this journey at BMO started around 12, 13 years ago when a new SDP was appointed to one of the development group, uh, groups there, dealing with capital markets. And he came from Citibank where he saw the value of having CMM at that time implemented in their development organizations there. Okay, and then he came to the bank and he decided to, to use the same approach, to use the CMM and or now CMMI as a model to improve development processes. The first very important concept here is that BMO, the bank, or he in particular, didn't have any external pressure to do it, okay, to implement this model. He decided to do it because he strongly believed and believes uh, still now on the value of having this model implemented in an IT organization. Okay, and that at the time when he came, he was in charge around 200 people. Then uh, uh, up to uh, last year, he was managing around 900 people. That were all those groups uh, were under CMMI level four and five. And uh, when he came and he made a decision to, to roll out this model, he gave me the task, and really I was uh, pleasantly surprised because originally I was hired in the bank to manage the, the testing group, and I didn't have much exposure to CMM at the time, but I knew what it is because I was reading that uh, about books and attending some conference, okay? I started with zero people and uh, no basic knowledge and after the end of the journey for me, we reached uh, in some part of the bank level five, and I truly believe that it was, it was a very successful journey. Okay, and um, of course, the, the BMO is a huge organization. We have between 2,000 and 3,000 IT people engaged in different uh, aspects of the software development and maintenance. And we started very beginning with one group that was managed by this uh, uh, VP at that time. And then based on the success of the value, other executives in the bank uh, decided to, to roll it out all across the whole organization. The concept that we had when we started, and basically I, I decided, is we're going to do it as much as possible ourselves. Okay, we're going to learn as we go. We're going to do it as we go, and we're going to learn from our mistakes and gain knowledge doing it. We, of course, used an external consultant, uh, basically an assessor, uh, but I'll go through that in more details as we move along. Okay, let's uh, go to, next, uh, to slide number seven, Michael, please. Okay, now we are in slide seven. This is uh, basically the roadmap, how we lead, reach different levels in this particular group up to level five in October 2009, and they were being assessed as we speak right now uh, to CMMI again. And at that time, and I think still now, we were the only kind of financial institution in Canada to have reached level five. Um, I don't know. There's so many other companies at level five. I think there are one or two, but we reached the highest uh, level in whole Canada, and that made, made us uh, very, very proud. Uh, let's go to page eight, uh, please, Michael. Okay, this is a summary of the, the six factors uh, for us. That means when I was uh, writing this presentation and even thinking about that uh, this morning, Basically, uh, the, the success, success factors were so simple that sometimes I kind of am ashamed to say those because they are so basic, so basic that people will say, why are you telling me that? Because that's what we know. But really, really, it, what we learned and what we did was that and it gave us all the uh, the tools to, to be successful. Even it looks very simple. Maybe the simplicity, simplicity is the key of, uh, of that success. I don't know. You will be the judge of that. 
Okay, uh, basically there are six uh, tried critical success factors, sponsorship, uh, software engineering process groups, quality assurance group, uh, trainings, campus, and selecting an assessor. Uh, they are kind of, they are not in a particular order of importance in general, but the, the most important one is number one. The other two, two to six, you can interchange them as you please from the, the level of importance. All of them are important, of course, but uh, the number one is the, num the most important one. Therefore, let's go to page uh, nine, please, Michael. Okay, this, as I said, this is the number one factor, and this is the most important one. I, I read it on the on multiple books. I, I attended multiple SCPG conferences, and all the people are saying the same thing, okay? If you don't have an executive sponsor that is really in charge, any process improvement activity won't be successful. So it should be uh, ISO 9001, uh, CMMI, uh, whatever, okay? And that we found is that that support has to be visible. Okay, the, S the VP or the executive has to be actively and visibly supporting that initiative. Okay, it's not just okay. You have the the mandate, and then suddenly he or she disappears under the somewhere. Uh, okay. Second, so obviously it has to provide resources. Third, it has to. Act, okay, in the QA group, my group, when we pre pre prepare reports, the status reports or, or roadblocks or issues that we need, he or she needs to be actively acting on that, okay? That's the way to support the group and the support initiative. Has to be an advocate and really a, a passionate about improving the whole organization. The concept here is to make the IT group to mature, to have an IT group that is up to to standards is doing the job effectively and efficiently and in a way that adds value to the organization. And we choose, and he chose the CMM, CMMI, as a model to do that model. Of course, um, he has to participate in the celebrations and has to be truly convinced about the value of this model. All those things that I'm pointing out was done by my executive that I was reporting to during those 12 years at the bank. Without this person doing those things, it wouldn't be able to, to succeed. And this is the cornerstone of uh, any software process improvement initiative that uh, you, you need to engage uh, them in order to do it, okay? This is why, sorry, I'm spending a little bit uh, more time in this line because I truly believe that's the most important aspect, okay? And pretty sure that many of you must be in a situation where you're frustrated because the, the effort and the work you are doing is not is not going anywhere. If you do a true uh, analysis of the situation, you will see that the, maybe the support, most probably the support to your senior executive, does not exist or is not good enough. Okay, then let's go to page 10, Michael, please. The second uh, factor is the software engineering process groups. I think now the, we call it like that. Uh, the, change, change, the name changed a little bit right now. But the, the, why this is important? Because we want the practitioners to participate directly and feel that they are owners of the process improvement activities. It's not that we are imposing on them things top down. We want them we wanted them to feel that they are part of that process, okay? Therefore, when we create the SCPGs, we, we were not, those SCPGs were not shared by me, not by the VP, but they were shared by the most senior manager that represent a particular group. And it's very, very important.